Oh, and she's gonna have her legs open. Oh, shit. That shadow work is nuts, actually, bro. Can't lie, though. Sabrina Carpenter's good milk. Huh? All right, so lately on the interwebs, I've been hearing a lot of hoopla and malarkey about this girl named Sabrina Carpenter and her being an ex-Disney star and now a pop star where she's on stage singing, you know, much, showing out, performing for her fans and basically doing a lot of seductive, Disney. sensual, sexual type Jeez, of choreography Louise. that a lot of people seem to be upset about. Like, last time I heard, she's 25. I don't think she necessarily makes music targeted at kids. And again, she's a grown woman she can do whatever i mean whatever she wants like i'm failing to see the problem here and they i was just about to say i don't think it's an issue she's 25 but that's the thing that, that that's the, the, the stipulation internet. with being a previous disney star is that they they think you need to be perfect i remember mitchell musso smoked a cigarette and like somebody took a picture of him and he obviously he fell off Hannah Montana went through that shit, bro. And because it's of like, the bro, fact that she was a Disney star, and you know, Disney Channel is a company, a program targeted towards kids and younger audiences. And shit. So now it seems like just because she was a Disney kid, she can't elevate and move on to a bigger and larger platform <clears throat> targeted towards anybody who wants to listen to her music. Like, if you have a problem with her content and how she performs yeah, her music, nuts. maybe I don't know. Don't take your kids to her show. Possibly tell them you don't want them Big listening to idea. her music. I mean, it seems kind of simple. In any case, though, here are some of the performances that people are upset at her for okay the cameraman cameraman got his cameo y'all right here let's get it boy i'm in the sabrina carpenter video how is this is it because she's wearing like a like lingerie under there oh it's because of this oh wow Oh, and she's gonna have her legs open. Oh, shit! <laughs> now, as a. That's nuts! Oh my god. That's nuts, actually, bro. That shadow work is nuts, actually, bro. I can't lie, though. Sabrina Carpenter is good milk. She is good milk, but damn. Straight man who really doesn't listen to her music. I really wasn't a Disney Channel watcher when I was a kid. I was more a Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon type of mm -hmm. guy, but to each their own. No shade to I the Disney Channel three. watchers. I watch no three. beef, no smoke with you. But with that said, again, she's a grown ass woman. If this is how she wants to express her artistic taste and perform her music, what can I really say? Like, I get it. This, this is, is very actually sexual. Crazy, we do live in a this is crazy. <laughs> sexualized this is ass society obviously i've had my critiques about the way we do things and nothing now. even actually happened bro he literally just opened her legs sat there and then they went away for days but at this current point in time i'm just gonna have to come out and say that i just kind of don't care like just don't Me take neither. your kids to these shows like Me that neither. just seems to be what the problem is online a lot of people are saying oh my god she has kid fans how could she do this she was an ex disney star like bro if you don't want your kids watching this type of content shield their eyes cover their eyes don't bring them to these types of concerts if you don't want them listening to her music or watching her music videos then ban them from doing Isn't so her music be a parent, take accountability too? for what your kids are exposed what the fuck does it to matter? Keep it like why the fuck would sabrina Crazy carpenter milk. have to cater and tweak her art her music and her performances for your dumbass kids like nah i've even had parents in my comment section <laughs> before in my past videos telling me can you stop cursing or can you stop talking about this type of topic because my kids watch you they love you but i just don't like the way i'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all niggas i'm not gonna stop fucking cursing there i go i did it twice right there I'll keep it a stack with y'all. I'm not stopping cursing, bro. You make content like, ma'am, sir, if you don't like the fact you that your, your kids kid are watching, watching the content, then don't. tell them to stop watching. You're the parent. I'm not going to change the way I'm making content to cater yep. to your kids. Uh -huh. It ain't happening. Here's some other footage that people are highly upset don't stop about. Cursing. I want to try out some freaky things with you. Is that what she said in the song? So why are niggas mad that she makes this these type of performance? Oh. Again, very yes. sexual. Sabrina on stage performing, hopping up and down with her butt, acting like she's in some type of reverse cowgirl type position. Like, I get it. It's very out there. But again, she's 25, a grown woman. She's young. She's sexy. She's in her prime. And I'm a man. I'm going to be honest. I, personally, me, I don't have a problem with this. If I had kids, though, which I don't, would I allow them to watch the type of content? Definitely not. <laughs> like, I'm sure singers like Halle Bailey and goddamn Disney princess movie singers would be more age appropriate Literally. for my daughter, depending on how old she is. Even a Taylor Swift you know taylor's not that bad like not a fan of her music but she's a lot more family friendly but again you all have the ability to shield your kids from this they don't have to see this but you allow it That's and now fact. you're complaining but again the internet is upset at a grown woman for performing how she wants to perform because they think she needs to cater her performances towards kids and i'm gonna just have to respectfully disagree yep i disagree too 
I think this is fine. Now I'm not gonna lie. That's what did she just great. say? Oh, she now was I'm not jerking the mic. Kind of <laughs> crazy, like clearly she's having fun. She's trying new things out. She loves the attention. And clearly this is just a phase like Miley Cyrus had back, what, six, seven, ten years ago. I don't know how long it's been. Where she was being super sexual on stage with Robin Th there was this, I, I think I saw this like clip of Sabrina Carpenter where she was like, um, she had called out the company and she said they want me to keep it PG, but I just don't have it in me. Oh, she said BBC. It was BBC. She said BBC wants me to keep it PG. BBC, I wish I had it in me. Nuts. That fucking jungle fever. He got jungle fever. He got jungle fever. We got jungle fever. We're in love. <laughs> Bro, nuts. Thick, you know, in her wrecking ball era and showing off her little chicken cutlets. Like, how are people not used to this chicken by cutlets, former hilarious. Nickelodeon Disney child actors by now? They all go through this crazy ass phase of music and hypersexuality. Like, this should be expected as some type of rites of passage by now. Like, is anybody shocked? That's a fact. Try out some freaky positions. That's what it's called. She always does something freaky at the end of it. So why are niggas surprised? <clears throat> so based on what I'm seeing here, it seems like at every show in different cities, she at a particular point in her song when she's performing does a different pose every time. That exactly. tends to lean on the sexual side. And this exactly. appears to be what people have a problem with. Because these suburban soccer moms are taking their kids to these shows and are probably not expecting her to do this, which is completely understandable. But maybe if you were more involved in what your kids were listening to when you saw her music videos and you started listening to what the lyrics were actually meaning, you then wouldn't be thrown off by this. Like parents or whoever the hell is in uproar about this, gotta start having more accountability like nobody put a gun to the back of your i hate that shit i hate that shit um my girl was telling me about how some parents would bring their kids to a melanie martinez concert and she would do like this demonic shit and they would be mad at melanie martinez for performing that demonic shit but at the same time if you listen to melanie martinez's music and you look at her, her music videos you can tell that's just the type of shit she does so the fact that you didn't do any research on melanie martinez and then you get mad that be because she's doing what she does that shit don't make no damn sense. Go ahead and forced you to take your kids to these shows. Like, unless you got a school shooter living in your household, I doubt you were in danger. Why is she kissing the alien though? Nah, she might be a making out with an alien freaky. is wild. Now another aspect of this conversation that I'm freaky seeing is that a lot of people are upset about it because they think this is degrading to women. That it's stereotyping women, and they feel like female artists have to always be over sexualized. And I completely understand that. From Ice Spice to Megan Thee Stallion to Cardi B to Nicki Minaj to Rihanna to Beyonce to countless other female artists, including Sabrina Carpenter, right now. And the thing. Not Taylor Swift. Of which I, I just find funny because we live in one of the most degenerate eras of society in America. Sexuality is showcased every Furcational land, furry pride. We're from TV shows, movies, murals, commercial advertisements, magazines, music, and people are still caught off guard by this. Like, bruh, sex sells on the female side and the male side. There's a reason for why all the best selling, most popular male artists are handsome or have women glazing them. Cause not only do the fans Shout find the voices appealing, attractive, but they also have the aesthetic and the looks to match it. It works for women the way it works for men and vice versa. Like, yep. yeah, sex sells. It's almost too cliche to say, but it is what it is. And I after everything Welcome I just saw Chris trying to record this video, I mean, she sure knows how to sell it. And I'm honestly not trying to glaze Miss Carpenter, I'm not trying to simp, but she knows what she's doing. So we just got to let her cook. If you're not a fan, don't listen, don't watch. And if you are, more power to you. Here's one crazy ass no post clue, bro, I seen on Twitter with you, by this I'm person named Gabby. She said, I guess <laughs> I am a 31 year old and afraid of Sabrina Carpenter because I genuinely find it unsettling when she phantomimes a sex position in that one song in her concert. And she's talking about the song Juno. She also went on to say, people are thinking that this means I am sex negative. Interesting. I actually just think it's cringe because to me, you can be sexy in a sex icon without phantom miming like you are in a Love Island challenge. But good for you, all who like it. This obviously left my circle. And then in the comment section down below, people are saying, you couldn't waterboard this information out of me. You don't remember <laughs> Britney, Madonna, Christina, Miley, literally standard for pop stars. As I said before, someone else said, imagine being 31 years old and 
finding another person dancing scary. That's kind of true, because it's like, bro, you're 31, bro. Why are you worrying about a 25-year-old fucking pop star, bro? Get get on with this shit, bro. Celebrity fucking... Uh, celebrity... Whatever they used to call that shit. That, I don't remember, but that shit is annoying, bro. The world must be a terrifying place for you. And I agree wholeheartedly. Like These people got to just insane. stop obsessing over things that have nothing to do with them. If you don't want to watch her content, you don't got to watch her content. Being afraid of a pop star because of the way she dances on stage is just crazy. Like, log off Twitter, log off TikTok, go outside, and touch some grass. Fans asked for Fiend at a Sabrina Carpenter concert. Oh, see, I, I saw this. This out of the arena just say something really crazy. Fiend. I hope they play Fiend. I hope they play Fiend. This is a Sabrina Carpenter Short and Sweet Four. You guys are saying awesome. I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. I saw that. That shit was cold, bro. What a, what a, that shit was fire. I'm not gonna lie. All right, bro. I mean, honestly, I agree. I don't think I don't think she should be getting canceled. What she's doing is fine. Like, I don't listen to her music, but I, I think what she's doing is fine. If she doesn't come out and say like, hey, my music is for kids, you shouldn't expect her to make music for kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just the audience that that likes her music or it's some kids. That's that's just all it is, bro.